Formula SAE or Formula Student cars are the fastest cars that you've never heard of. These vehicles are unique, student-built race cars designed to a Formula One style rulebook, and their performance is truly incredible. I was involved with Yukon's team for four years, and to this day, nothing in the automotive world has made me feel the way that these student designed and built cars do. Man, dude, I'm shaking. This video will give you insight into Yukon's car and a general look at the beautiful thing that is Formula SAE. Before we get into it though, I need to thank OpenX for sponsoring this video, but more on that later. Today, we're gonna talk to some of the members that are currently on the team to talk a bit about the engineering and design of this car. Then we're gonna do some zero to 60 runs to show off what it could do, and it is just crazy. Let's get into that. All right, guys, we are here with Abi, who is the president of Yukon Formula SAE, and he's gonna show us around this car a little bit and tell us about some of the really cool parts on it. So when did you join the team? So I joined the team two years ago, 2020, my freshman year. Okay. Uh, I started working on the composites team, worked on the data acquisition team, and worked on the, at the time, newly formed aerodynamics team. Awesome. Um, could you talk a little bit about the composites and talk about the carbon fiber parts on this car? Yeah, absolutely. So as I'm sure you can see, we have a, a rear wing and a front wing on this year's car. All the composite parts are modeled in CAD and we run simulations on them in uh, a CFD software. We optimize all the geometries and then we spend a lot of time making really smooth and well-finished molds so we can get nice looking parts just like these that make a lot of downforce. What about the frame? Is that all designed in CAD and how's that made? Yeah, absolutely. So we basically start out with a bunch of just 2D lines and a huge rule book. Uh, there's a, about a hundred page rule book that we have to follow. There are rules in terms of the size of the frame, what tubes we use, where they can go. So we work with all the different systems on the car and try to make sure everything can be packaged in there. Once we have that, we extrude the tubes in, in CAD we make sure that every, everything fits in the frame, and then we work with one of our big sponsors, Trump, and they cut up our tubes, we get them, and then we weld them all in-house, we paint it, and finish it off. Awesome, and then final product. Obviously, there are a lot of sub-teams and a lot of people involved with this. Would you say that this is one of the best learning experiences you've had? It's the best learning experience anyone can get on a college campus. So the guys that build this car obviously know a lot about CAD, carbon fiber, and machining, which brings us into the sponsor of this video, which is OpenX. OpenX is an immersive and very complete online training course that could teach you the skills needed to build cars like this and build your careers. Also, they have a career support network and have already helped over a thousand people find jobs that use these skills. OpenX works with industry leaders like Northrop Grumman, SpaceX, and Tesla to help make sure that you're learning applicable skills to build careers with these big companies. I completed OpenX's composites course and I can and confirmed that it taught me all of the skills that I was using when I was building this car back in the day. If you sign up with the link below, you'll get access to free resume writing, career support, and access to a massive network of career opportunities. This offer might not last forever though, so if you want access to courses on carbon fiber, CAD, machining, and more, click that link down below. Now let's take a look at this car that these guys built and see how fast it really is. Let's talk to one of the powertrain members that makes the car go fast in a straight line. We're gonna talk about some specs on the car and what to expect from the zero to 60 testing. Here we have Luca, um, he's on the powertrain team. So tell these guys, what kind of engine are we running in here? So we're running a Yamaha R6 sports bike engine makes roughly 85 horsepower on our uh, engine dyno. And 85 horsepower, although it doesn't sound like that much, that is a lot for a car that's this light, and this thing is pretty fast. So what do you expect for the zero to 60 tests? Around 3.6, 3.7 seconds for a zero to 60 time. And that's pretty freaking fast for a car that some students built when they just put their skills to use, build something crazy like this, and it's impressive. So let's go do some tests and see how it does. All right, Luca's getting in the car now and we're gonna get ready to go do some launches with this thing. All right, here we go for the first launch here. That looked freaking fast.
That looked freaking fast. Zero to 60 was 4.6 on that one. Based on our uh, ECU and our data logger, we were running about a 3.49 second zero to 60. So this car is no joke. This thing is really freaking fast. As an alumni, I get to come back and drive this car on team drive day, and it's like nothing else. I'll play a clip of that right now. This thing freaking rips, dude. <laughs> Bro, I love watching you drive. Man. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I miss this thing. You look good. Yeah, that, that was super fun. For not driving something this fast, I think I did all right. So when I was done driving this car last time, I was literally sitting in the car shaking because it is such an intense experience and it is such a fast car that it's really undescribable. Man, dude, I'm shaking. <laughs> If you ever get the opportunity to work on a team like this, definitely do it. If you're young and you're looking at going to school, pick one that has a really nice program like this because it is just absolutely great. And I really do mean that. The learning experience that you get and the friendships that you build are unmatched. And if you're cut out for it, the experience of driving these cars in competition is truly insane. I will never forget doing over 70 miles an hour in one of these cars just a few inches off the ground in Michigan, or winning an autocross with the fastest time of the day simply because these cars are so capable. There's truly nothing like it, and to me, Formula SAE has been peak automotive fun and a truly invaluable experience. Again, huge thank you to Yukon Formula SAE for letting me film this video, and thank you to OpenX for creating the opportunity for all people to learn the skills needed to build cars like this and build careers. I hope you stick around for the next one.